grounds, the old stomping grounds, after a short 15 minute intermission. And this next fight will be Zach Utterback versus Tony St. Clair at 130 pounds. And Zach Utterbeck is actually, uh, uh, it's rumored that he's hes a deaf fighter. And if that's true, big, big props to him. It's already scary enough getting in here. I couldn't imagine getting in here with, with one of your senses partially or maybe even all the way missing, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's impressive. You got to think about it. You're not going to be able to hear your corner, you know. Yeah, so and this place gets rowdy. Advice. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you can feed off that crowd, too. Much respect to him coming in. Looks like he's out of 765 top team. Yep. And uh, I don't know much about Zach, but I am friends with him on Facebook, and this kid's constantly looking for a fight. Well, he's got one tonight against another tough opponent in Tony St. Clair. Once again, this is at 130 pounds. And Tony is uh, fighting out of subdue. He's he's coming off of a TKO win in his last his last performance, so. This one should be fireworks. Absolutely. And that seems to be the trend tonight. And here comes Tony. As you said, Pete, coming off a win in his last fight. Very impressive win. Showed some new skills. These guys are built a lot alike, too. Both tall, skinny frames at the 130 division. The, uh, the attributes look look to be about the same reach-wise and frame-wise, so this is going to come down to who's tougher, who's got the better skill set. And maybe who prepared more. Absolutely. Preparation is number one. Big, long line of people to hug from Subdue as always. As always. A lot of support coming out for that team out of Connersville, Indiana. They're stable here at Subdue, or at Fierce Fight Series, I should say. Absolutely. 765 top team, another team that you see frequently fighting. Oh yeah, these guys fight all the fight time. Series. These guys fight everywhere too. They, they've they had a few bouts in New York, I've heard. They'll, they'll travel any, any length to get a fight. It, these guys are tough. So we had back-to-back -back big fellas in here first for you guys, and now back down to the lighter division. Yep, back-to-back -back bigs and then back-to-back -back small guys. Absolutely. This cage doesn't know what to think right now. Fans starting to file back in. Getting ready for this fourth fight of the night. Tony having a little conversation with the ref. I wonder what that's about. It seems like it might be over a certain rule that that Tony's asking a question okay. about. I'm good to clear that up before the fight starts. Absolutely. This must be a heavily uh, populated subdue crowd behind us. They, and they're cheering for all the subdue guys. Cage door locks. Let's go, Ops. Absolutely, fourth bout of the night. Zach Utterback, Utterback and Tony St. Clair. All right, good leg kick. Start off by Tony. And that teep, saw that a lot, a lot in his last fight. Oh yeah, he, he utilizes the teep well. A lot of range on it. A big flurry coming uh -oh. out of Zach. Tony, Tony waiting for a bomb. Oh, some knees to the inside of the knees. That's something we haven't seen tonight. Yeah, that's... 
Those are actually coming with some Oh, force and a little and bit of sweep. wrestling going on. And a reset here. Probably what was needed. Oh, and a big teep from Zach. Absolutely. Caught Coney, oh, teep Coney on coming teep. In. And these guys are standing right within range for strikes. Absolutely. Right in the pocket. And they're throwing oh, with power. Big right. big right here by Tony. Good kick. Another good kick by Zach. And that looked like a knee up the middle to the, to the head, but didn't connect. Oh, oh big right big by right Tony. And a big tee. He loaded up for that one. Both fighters very focused. Looks like maybe a, a little bit of a shiner starting to appear on, on Tony's left eye. He might have got caught. A very big, early. wide looping left hand. Just about connects there for Zach. Oh, another, oh, another big, big hand right. from Tony. He's got him against the cage now. Big he's well on him. Oh, he's going to stop it. This wow. Interesting. Wow, he's, he's quick to stop him tonight. I'll, he is. I'll, I'll say that. He really did stop that right in the middle of the teeth. That was interesting. I don't think Zach's hurt. Once again, I don't think these fighters are necessarily hurt. I just think they're getting a little overwhelmed and the ref is wanting to step in before they're before some real before shots. Counter get through. back, yeah. It's interesting. Oh, oh another big on right. right. Zach is tough. He's he's yeah. eaten three or four of those yeah. so far. Teeps coming up the middle for Zach. Another big kick. Seems like that's what his game plan is tonight. Yep. He's teeping like, to the face and Tony's Tony's doing more handiwork than he normally does. He usually absolutely. likes the kicks. Fast and, first round. Yeah, very, very quick first round. Good action. Both very calculated. Two different game plans. Seemed like Zach liked to stay on the outside with those kicks, and Tony kind of wanted to land those big bombs with his hands. Tonight. Let's see how the second round goes. Once again, a high action bout. We're loving it. These fighters are coming out. Oh, yeah, and these guys both seem fairly strong for 130 pounders. Absolutely. So Skinny little, guys, but a lot of pop. That little clinch exchange there was interesting. All right, halfway through mid-round break here. And there's the bell. Here comes the second round. Let's see how these fighters come out. See if they stick to the same game plan as they had in the first round. Touch of gloves, and here we go. They're both going for the teep at the exact same yep. time. That's a, that's a few times they've done that now. Seems like the difference is, difference is Tony's loading up a little bit more on his teeps. A little bit more telegraph with the teeps. I think a little bit more in general. Zach uh, Utterbeck's got kind of a, a lot of punches, and, and Tony's throwing some significant ones out yes, there. Yes, absolutely. A good leg kick by Tony. Zach oh, likes great right right Oh, and he takes a bomb. Tony backs off a little bit, throws a tee. Like I was saying, though, Utterbeck likes using the clinch. He, he's resorted to that more than a few times tonight, and that's a, yep, and that's that's a knee to the head. That is a legal knee. We're going to have to separate them and see what they do about this. And for the, those of you at home, you can knee to the body. You cannot knee to the head. Thank you. Come here, bro. He, he's, this is a this is a death fighter, ladies and gentlemen. So he he had a little misconfusion. He's got to get close enough to read lips. Tony back to his feet, looking like he's ready to go. Seemed like an honest mistake. Yep, ref explains it to him, and we are once again. Tony's a tough kid. Underway, let's go. Let's hope he cleared all the fog out if there was any. A little slip. Yeah, sometimes that uh, that fierce sign in the middle of the cage can get slip. Yeah. Slippery. 
Oh, good combo by Zach. Oh, yeah, it was. Good slip there by Tony at the end. Another, Another good, good leg. leg kick. Yes, absolutely. Looks like Zach's a little fatigued. It could be because of those kicks. Another, Another big, big overhand right. Little barrage. Another right by Tony up against the fence. This is a great bout. Absolutely. Quite a bit of back and forth going on. It's pretty technical. Love seeing these kind of bouts. Oh, yeah, slower. It's, it's, it's a pro pace fight. A lot of these amateurs come out and, they, and they, they're a little scared, a little nervous, so they throw a lot more strikes than, than what the pros do. The pros is, is a little bit slower of a pace, more, more technical. Calculated, yeah. Oh, another big counter right, another one in the left. They're both tired, but Zach, Zach looks like throwing, he might have some in the he's tank. He's throwing the, oh, another knee to the head. It looked like maybe another knee to the head, and it was. I, I, it appears that he's getting a point taken, and he is. Yep. The ref just took a point from him, and that's huge. Especially that's huge when it's only, fights. yeah, three-round fights. That's an automatic lost round. He's going to have to make up for lost time. It's too late in the round for him to gain a 10-8, so absolutely that is a lost round. He's going to really need to come out in the third and put some pressure on Tony. Little uh, dispute going on in the blue corner here. He's just got to lower the knees. And sometimes it is hard with the timing when someone ducks yep, and absolutely. you're throwing that knee at the same time. Just got to be careful. Tony, I think Tony's explaining that he, that he had him in a plum clinch and that he was pulling his head down into the knee though and maybe not that he ducked down into it. And, and that's the problem and that's probably why the point got deducted. But with these AMI cards and, and no instant replays, it's it's tough to tell. It's it's touch and go. You don't you don't know whether it was flagrant, whether it was a mistake. That's why we gotta trust that ref in there, let him do his job. I and mean, he is a great ref. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Big clinch. Oh, these guys these guys are wrestling a bit, man. They don't like uh, each other. That was that was more yeah, it was a it was a throw there by Tony. Yeah, he's you can tell he's getting frustrated. Maybe by the volume of Zach's shots. Like I said, I don't think he's he's necessarily putting big shots on him, but they're, they're flurries often. Yeah, absolutely. And the kicks have been significant. He's thrown a lot of really good kicks. And Tony's, I think Tony has landed the more significant strikes with that right hand. He's, he's really put together some big power shots, but they're coming more few and far between than Zach's punches right now. I agree. And with the fight being so close, that point, that point taken from Utterbeck is is going to be huge. Absolutely. Like you said, P, in these three-round fights, I mean, often when it goes to the decision, it's a very close fight. So that one point could literally be everything. And the first rounds in, the, in these amateur fights are usually toss-ups, too, because guys come out fast, like we, like we mentioned before. Yeah, absolutely. Very hard to score. Judges have a pretty hard job in these yeah. amateur fights, I will say. Yeah. All right, let's go third round. Great fight so far by these two men. A touch of the gloves and back to it for the third round. Oh, right. another huge overhand right by Tony. Tony's trying to, oh, oh and he found he, a home that time. Yes, he did. Once again, it looks like Utterback is about the volume, and Tony just wants to pick that shot. Great leg kick. He does have his hands up. He's doing a good job of keeping his hands up. Yep. He's not letting. Oh, oh that's a good head, head kick. kick by Utterback. Good check kick there as well. And, he, and he's supplying the pressure. Yes, he is. He knows he lost the point in that oh last round. Gosh. Oh, big shots. The big shots. And Tony, Tony fires back. And he does. His own. Oh, barely misses that big right hand. Big oh, knee. A great knee by Utterback. Yeah, Tony looks for the sweep, and he gets it. Both fighters down and back up for the reset. Time. He's taking a point. I think the ref might be taking a point from yep. Tony here. I believe I heard him say he is going to. He said he. Wow. Yep. And it's back even. And now it gets even more interesting, folks. This wow. Is, this is all about the third round I here. hope the judges have not blinked because this is wild. In my opinion, this is all about the third round. It's the... It's what happens the rest of this round can decide yep, to fight absolutely. right here. Absolutely. Both tired, but both still have pop. Absolutely. And he lets go of the oh, clinch. Maybe, maybe, scared, maybe scared to hit another knee to yep. the head. 
Once again, Utterback with that volume, but every yeah, time he Tony is. throws, he's throwing that massive right. He hits him again. Yeah, he does. A good and a knee. Big knee. Knees from Those Utterback. Knees are vicious. Oh. A good left hand. Off the exchange. These guys are banging. Three rounds in. Ref took a little time to get in there, and Tony throws that knee. Could be an honest mistake. It's, it's hard telling with this fight at this point. These guys. A lot of fouls this fight. Yeah, yeah. There hasn't been a foul all night, and with multiple in this fight, this is, this is getting strange at this point. I think we're going to see a very explosive end of this round. Was it low? Is that what he's calling for? Yes, absolutely. Low knee. I think the ref, the, the, only, the only criticism I have there is maybe the ref, when he calls that break, get in there a little faster and, yep. and get that break up. Because the fighter. Yep, Tony it, didn't, didn't it's, it's quite the fight, feel him there. It's the ref's uh, uh, job to stop the fight, not the fighter's. So the fighters just keep fighting until they feel that ref on them. Exactly. No malicious intent that, that I can see. But it has been a strange fight. No, when you're when you're winging, they're both in here throwing, you know, hard shots and a lot of shots. You know, that's it's limbs flying everywhere. You can you can get caught. Caught with a legal shot, even if it's unintentional. And these guys have had three or four couple minute breaks, I mean. Yeah, that's why I expect a flurry here at the end of this round. For but, sure. Interesting to see if Tony's going to do some more load-ups here, see if he can hit that big right. I'm unsure how much time is left in the round, but, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting something big. Oh, oh great big tee. Tee. Great teep and a great right behind it. And Zach doesn't stop throwing punches, nope. though. He comes back. Tony's got that head down there still. Oh, another, and big, another right. big right. That right has found a home another all night. Another right. Zach and a is, left. as tough as it, as it gets. I mean, it's just volume and power here, folks. A couple more big rights. These fighters are tired, but they're still throwing. Come on, come this has been, plenty of wars have been like this through boxing, MMA, kickboxing. It's, it's the war of volume versus the war of power. And the last 10 seconds. The last 10 seconds, this is now a war of attrition. And Zach is landing more shots. Oh. Tony loads up. Tony. Zach gets the better this of the changes well, at the end. This could very wow, well help Zach at the end of that fight. What a fight. Great fight by both men. That was awesome. That was awesome to watch. What about? I mean, both tough as hell. I can't wait to watch that fight back, ladies and gentlemen. There were some big shots landed on both sides. Oh, yeah, that one was exciting. I say that like the, the previous three haven't been exciting, but that one that one there was. It was more technically exciting, I believe. I mean, it was there were some wide exchanges, but you yeah. know, there were some Wish real there technical. Were a, few, a few less stops, stops in the action. Yeah, I, those fouls were very weird. But like I said, man, you know it's hard to control what you're doing in there sometimes when you're throwing punches and your your opponent's throwing limbs right back at you. And we'll see what the judges have uh, come to. This is going to be a very interesting one. Very close fight. Either way, great show of respect between both individuals Absolutely. after that fight. That was awesome to watch. Great shows of sportsmanship in there. And, and that's, that's super important always, but especially after a fight that was so... There were so many fouls involved, and, and for these guys to be hugging it out in the middle of the cage afterward, that, that, speaks, that speaks volumes. Volumes. Here's the judge's decision. I know there's going to be a, a lot of hype people in here and a lot of disappointed fans. <laughs> little struggle getting Tony's glove off here. A little tug of war action there. That's a staple of Tony. He's always trying to pull them gloves off. Another great show of respect here. Teammate yeah, helping, helping him get him. that wow. off. You love that, man. Look, and he must be a professional at it as well. Oh, yeah. he's. I mean, he's peeling and things off, son. What a good man. Said, ref, get out of the way. I got this. That's awesome.
Zach Otterbeck pulls it off. What a roller coaster of a fight. What a fight between these two gentlemen. And that was really, a fun watch. And that was interesting because, you know, it could have went the other way if T Tony didn't get that point deducted, uh, you know, af right after Zach did. That was interesting. Yeah, e put it back on even playing fields. And, and a lot of times when you see, when you see these wars of volume versus, versus